In this video, we will see how can we describe a design pattern. First of all, we must know that each design pattern consists of four essential elements. Number one, its pattern name. How can we call that pattern? Number two, the problem. What kind of problem it is associated to it? And number three, the solution. What kind of practical proven solution that a pattern describes? and the consequences is of that pattern, how, how the trade-off relationships is defined, how these consequences affects the solution and the code of the program in this structure. So these are the four essential elements in the pattern. Number two, that uh, each design pattern uh, is uh, described in a temp form of template. The template consists of 12 elements, the intent, mean the focus of the pattern and uh, the definition of the pattern number two the as known as uh, what is the other name of that pattern how is the nickname you can say the nickname of the pattern and the motivation what comes what are the motivation behind this pattern what are the key factors that we have to produce and we have to define this pattern so, and number four the applicability and where this pattern is applicable, uh, either it is applicable on the graphical user interface, either it is applicable on the business logic tier, or either it is apply on the applicable on the data tier, data tier. And the fifth is the structure, mean the graphical representation in the form of uh, you can say the UML form or anything, any graphical representation of that uh, pattern. Number six, we have to define the clear, clearly define the participants of that pattern. Mean, what are the classes? What are the objects that uh, behave and perform in that uh, pattern? And number seven is the collaboration. That how the coupling and the cohesion is uh, introduced in that pattern. How the classes collect and collaborate with other classes. How the how the responsibility of the classes is shared among the among the other classes. And the consequences are the same, mean the trade-offs between the relationships of the classes and the objects, how the relationship, how the different relationships behaves in that uh, pattern, and implementation. Some of the code of the core classes uh, in the form of abstract or the skeleton code uh, that we may implement that by changing or customizing little bit. So it can like a skeleton code of that pattern. So we must have a sample code, applicable and implemented code. Uh, it's a sample code, and also it's known uses where it it is usable, where it is used in the past. For example, we have uh, many patterns in web like MVC and a facade pattern for the graphical user interface or interfaces to define and. Uh, Last thing is the related patterns. What kind of pattern associated to that pattern? For example, if we see in creational patterns, a lot of patterns are associated to along uh, to it, and a lot of structural patterns associated and have many similarity between them. And similarly, in behavioral patterns, we also see a lot of similarity between those patterns. And among these th three categories, we also see a lot of patterns that have some similar kind of nature and some common properties associated to it. To it. So we must define or uh, these 12 things to describe a pattern. Any pattern is incompletable, incomplete without, the, without the, any element of that. So if we are going to describe a pattern, so this is the template for describing the design pattern. So we will see practically and theoretically how we can describe the patterns in later discourse later on this course thank you